In the recently released Netflix series That 90s Show, Leah Foreman, played by Callie Haverda, becomes friends with a new group of Point Place kids. While visiting her grandparents in Wisconsin in the summer of 1995, fans have been praising the show thus far, since it was established by Bonnie Turner, Terry Turner, Lindsay Turner, and Greg Medler. But since it was made available on the streaming platform last month, it has come to light what that 90s show truly got wrong about the decade. It certainly isn't alone in making mistakes about the era it is set in, as that 90s show's predecessor that 70s show, also had a number of howlers. As for the that 90s show though, there were a few obvious things viewers have spotted. Wow. That the show got completely wrong about the decade. Number 1, 2013 revamp of stadium included in show set in 1995. As per Ranker, the first mishap is a picture of the Lambeau Field Stadium behind Leah at the Hub in Episode 5. The framed picture of the Wisconsin Stadium in that 90s show is actually a photo of the renovated field that was completed in 2013. Back in 1995, the stadium had an iconic perimeter that is missing from the photo in the TV series. Number 2. Ozzy Wears a Modern Sweatshirt Ozzy was seen in the third episode sporting merchandise from The Phantom of the Opera, which was another 90s gaffe. However, Ozzy was sporting a sweatshirt that represented the contemporary version of the show, rather than the 1990s version, which had arose by the title. Number 3. A third scene that has drawn attention is actually a passage of dialogue between characters rather than something protruding from the set's furniture. This quote is from a movie that wasn't released for another three years. Thanks for the ride, but could you go find your rhythm somewhere else? Gwen asks her mother in the third episode. According to the rancor, this alludes to the movie in book How Stella Got Her Groove Back. The story, about a woman who ends up in Jamaica, was not made into a movie until 1998. While the book was published in 1996, two years before the show's setting. But that 90s show also mispronounced the word crisps, which some people consider to be an actual crime. Doritos logo from 2013 found. The popular cheesy chip emblem that appears in the episode was really first used in 2013, which is exactly 18 years after the time the program is set. Number 5 2021 Pringles found in 1995. Another food mishap next, as a can of Pringles spotted in the background of one particular scene. But the logo that was printed on this can was in fact the modern logo for the crisps favorite, one that was actually first introduced in 2021. Number 6. The characters in the video game Donkey Kong appear to be from the 2000s. Leah experiences a drug-induced hallucination in the second episode of the show, in which her grandparents appear to be Donkey Kong characters. Fans, however, appear to believe that the cartoon characters from Donkey Kong Land or Donkey Kong Country 2. Diddy's Kong Quest from 1995 are not present. Fans think the characters are from Donkey Kong Jungle Beat from 2004, which takes place place nine years in the future. Number 7. Gwen singing a song that hasn't been released yet. The song You Oughta Know by Alanis Morissette is being sung by Gwen in the first episode. However, the show premiered on July 3, 1995, three days before the song was really released. It follows that this one is also a mishap unless Gwen gets exclusive access. There are only a few of instances where that 90s show absolutely misrepresented the 1990s. If you have seen any others in season 1, let us know.